Hi guys, welcome to another Divi theme tutorial. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignTechTips.com. Well, in this video, we're going to use our theme builder to design a global body for our pages. Now, we've already got content on some of our pages here, so we're going to have to work around it. When we put a global body in the background, it'll be, appear behind this. But remember, if you've got any sections or rows, that have a background color themselves probably like this row if you want to see whatever you're using in your global body background you're going to have to change the color or take the color away so let's get started first thing i want to do is click on the add global body we're on the dashboard i've gone down a divi to the theme builder let's hit the add global body build global body And I want to build from scratch. Okay, so here we are. By default, it's put in a section for us. I'm just going to create a row, and inside that row, I'm going to put a post content module. Now, you may ask why? Um, because this post content will re represent whatever's on the page that we happen to be working on. Any of the pages that have content on them already, like that page we just looked at, its content will appear will appear here. Okay, so I'm going to keep this fairly simple. Let's just go into our section here and add some dividers. So I'm in the section, design tab, down to dividers. Let's add a divider. Do something like that. Let's make it blue. And I'll take the opacity down a little bit in case there's any writing on our page. We don't want to cover it up with a real vivid color. So if I take the opacity or see through this down, you should be able to read any content on the site a lot easier. I'm going to scroll down. I'm going to make it a lot deeper. Let's say 50%. Now I'm using percent instead of pixels here because there may be different amounts of content on whatever page this is being applied to. So that way there will always be half the, the height of the page however high the page is which is fine if you just want it to appear at the top then use pixels you can also use viewable height which will uh, give it 50% of the viewable height VH of whatever device it's being used on but for me today I'm going to use the percentage sign that's that's going to work great okay now i want to go down to the bottom and do the bottom one so let's slide down so we can see and i'll put something similar on the bottom so we just go from top to bottom of course you can put in an image background or any background you want and there's its opposite number there so we'll do the same thing i'll just use that blue again for expediency and i'll pull the opacity down quite away again and again, I'll give it, let's say give it 30, 30% this time. I don't want it all the way up my page, but that should work fine. Okay, now of course you can add any modules or anything you want. If you want them to appear on all pages, if you've got a sale banner or an announcement, just add a, whatever modules you want there. Now, I've got a gap between the top of my section and where the actual post content is so I don't want that let's go back into that divider back to design spacing I'm going to make sure we've taken away the padding by putting padding zero in and then hitting the chain it'll do the bottom as well that's great and we still got a little bit of padding at the top there but I believe that's on the row so let's do the same thing for the row so I've gone to the green tab, going to design, going to spacing, and again, we want zero padding, top and bottom. There we go, and it's nicely buffered up against the top there now. Now, while we're in the row, my page has already got content, and the content on it is full width. 
We've got things stretching all the way. So that means that our row that contains our post module needs to be full width also. So let's go down to, let's close up spacing and sizing is just above it. And I'm going to put the width to 100%. I'm going to copy that, control C, or you can type it in below if you wish under max width. And that will make our whole row full width. Now I say that and you might think, well, I can't see the dividers. We've well, got to remember this, this post widget will not be here. This just re represents any content that's actually in on your page. So let's save our settings. Save the page changes. Hit the little X at the top. Make sure everything's saved. Now let's go back to our page and refresh. Let's go to the top of the page so we can see what's going on. At the moment we've got plain old white background in. So let's refresh. And there we have it. There's our little divider and that, that'll be stretching halfway through down the page. Now remember anything that's got a background in it like that. If you want to see your divider then you'll have to remove the background. And this has obviously got background white in it. This has no background so you can see our divider through there. And this has also. So there you have it. We've made that global. Now if we add a new page, just add a new page. Just click global. I'm going to use the Divi Builder. Build from scratch. Here we go. And I can't see the top section there. It may mean that our default section has a bit of a color behind it. Let's just go in there. We'll add a color. Click on the color and take the opacity all the way down. There we are. It was hidden behind find that little default section there. So every time you create something, a new page, we'll have that global background going on. So there you have it. I hope you've enjoyed that and found it useful. Once again, this has been Jamie with System22 and WebDesignAndTechTips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.